from the Sound Blaster team again, and we are showing you how to get this end result by properly setting up your Sense 3D to make awesome scans. Here we go. So we recommend getting a very basic uh, photography tripod with uh, standardized threads on the top of it. This is about $6. Uh, you can find it pretty much anywhere online. And those threads are going to screw right into the bottom of the Sens 3D camera. Uh, there's the threads right there. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a nice stable platform with that tripod. You don't want the camera moving around a lot while you're scanning. It could affect the results of the end scan. And then we recommend a Lazy Susan that you can spin with your hand. Or even better, a Bluetooth rotation platform. This is used in a lot of photography right now, especially with online um, sales and whatnot to get good pictures of products. This is about a $30 platform. You can control it with your smartphone. And that's going to allow you to get a nice rotation on the, uh, on the device and your objects, um, which is going to give you great, great detail. Okay, so now it's time to show off the setup here. This is uh, an attempt to show you just how easy it is. You don't need a ton of space. This is on the corner of my Battle Station desktop. Uh, we have the camera sitting looking directly across at the device and the camera again is mounted on that very basic um, and simple photography tripod. Uh, it connects right into the bottom of the Sense 3D camera and that's looking straight across at the object on the platform. It's about 12 inches to 18 inches away um, from the tabletop and the tabletop here is just a rotational Bluetooth tabletop. We recommend that because it gives you a nice, great, smooth, uh, round scan as you're going around and it's going to ensure you're going to get the best scan possible. This is a really, really detailed object here and uh, we picked this one just to show how detailed this camera can pick up. So now we're actually scanning and in the process we're rotating this turntable, uh, the Bluetooth turntable in real time. The camera again is set up 18, 12 to 18 inches away in object scan mode. Uh, overhead lighting looking down and this is a really again a really incredibly detailed model and you can see how it reflects on the screen you're getting all of that capture uh, we recommend to do probably two rotations um, of the objects to get the most detail uh, but you can see at the end result here just how detailed this model is going to be from the camera um, some models and, and objects are going to scan into Minecraft um, better than others obviously because of the limitation of all the voxels um, but the camera is quite capable of scanning lots of detail here um, as we're going around and uh, you don't need any special backdrops you don't need any type of uh, you know green screen or elimination or whatnot the depth sensing of the camera is going to do all of that for you so now that we have uh, this object turned around a few times it takes a few seconds like we showed you in the software tutorial for the model to appear and uh, you will see just how detailed that model will be scanned in real time. Um, it's pretty awesome. And now for one last example, again showing that distance of the camera from the object about 18 to 24 inches in object scan mode on the Bluetooth turntable turning around smoothly. Alternatively, that could be a smooth surface that you just rotate by hand or even a lazy Susan, but the Bluetooth turntable by far gives the best result. Um, and you can also see below the object being scanned, there's a box that's formed. That's the camera recognizing it's on a flat surface. That will be subtracted out at the end result, as you'll see here, once we complete the rotation. So the three key things to remember, camera tripod, 18 to 24 inches away, Bluetooth turntable, and uh, we'll be finishing up this second rotation here any second. Once we do that, um, the software is gonna go ahead and convert, capture the scan and then convert that into the block. Um, and uh, should be wrapping up any second here. So let's see what we got. I think we're gonna complete it and there we go. So we've completed it. You're gonna see the scan pop up and then the model right after it and a pretty awesome one-to-one uh, -one there, especially for a Minecraft model. Now you have your own King Groot in under a minute, your own King Groot to bring into Minecraft and use as you will. And that's how simple it is. Uh, just a few things, a little bit of overhead lighting, and you can have your own scanned objects to use in Minecraft. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. Check out the other two tutorials we have um, on the software as well as use in Minecraft. See you next time.